All right, um, this is a video about how to soft reset for uh, Emerald Pokemon using the uh, Visual Boy Advance emulator. Um, in order to do that, you're going to need a slot one flash card. Um, I'm using an edge, but any kind of flash card will work. And Pokemon Emerald in slot two of your DS. And you need to have a save file on the Emerald because you're going to copy that to the computer. Um, you're going to need this program. It's called uh, Game Boy Advance GBA Backup Tool. And uh, you can get that on Google or um, the link is in my uh, video description. And you copy that to the root folder of your flashcard. When you load up your DS, you just run that program. And uh, it will identify the card in slot 2. Just press A. And uh, if it's the first time you've used it, there will be um, file not found. So just press um, B on the menu. It says new save file create. And uh, it says file name. It's just going to call it whatever the name of your game is with a bunch of funky numbers after it. Just press A. And it will copy that. And then you can just uh, shut the DS off and uh, take the SD card out and put it in your computer and when it pops up go to this folder uh, GBA backup even if you don't have one if you didn't have one before um, the backup tool creates this folder and uh, in the folder you will find your save file so I'm going to copy that and then uh, I'm going to load up my whatever folder you put Visual Boy Advance in and then just uh, paste it into that folder. And uh, you, what you need to do is um, note the name of your Pokemon Emerald ROM, which um, in my case is Pokemon Emerald.GBA. And then uh, the save file here, you need to change the name of it to the same thing as your ROM. So it would be Pokemon P O K E M O N space E M E R A L D. And then uh, at that. Okay, I already have a file named Pokemon Emerald.sav, so I have to erase that first. And then rename my other file, Pokemon Emerald. And uh, at that point, if you load Visual Boy Advance and open your ROM, it will load your game. You'll notice at the uh, bar on the top of the window, and just as I'm walking around, it's playing at a normal speed. But uh, if you go to the throttle menu and enter like 500 or something, you can speed the game up. Mine's only running at about 180% because I have Hypercam open, which lags the hell out of my computer. But uh, if you go to frame skip and go to 9, you can speed it up to like four or 500%. And this is useful for um, making the amount of time you have to wait a shorter amount of time. But uh, make sure you leave that pause when an active window un or unchecked so that you can still play the game even while you're doing something else. Now when you want to actually reset for a Pokemon, you have to set it back to 100% and uh, then go file, save, game, and use the save states like what I'm doing up here in the file menu. Save it as the first one, which you can also do with uh, Shift F1 and then restore it by just pressing F1 and immediately encounter your Pokemon. This is to, uh, since you saved it right before you're fighting the Pokemon, the save states uh, save the state of the random number generator. Whatever frame you're on will be whatever frame you're on when you restore. And uh, when you restore it and catch the Pokemon, you can use that to check where you are at currently. And then um, once you do check, what you want to do is restore the save state again. But, uh... I will explain that later. Just know that you have a save state saved right in front of Kyogre for now, and that uh, you are also catching Kyogre to determine what frame you're at. So uh, you just go and look at the stats here.
And uh, after you calculate the IVs, you're going to enter them into the uh, RNG reporter. Um, for mine, let's just say I got those IVs there in a jolly nature since that's what I saw. And uh, I just go 1 to 999999 because I can. But uh, you're going to want to find the frame of the Pokemon you just have. And uh, since you saved state right before the Kyogre, that is within a couple frames um, where your save state is currently at in the file. So uh, ideally you would already have a spread you want picked out. But uh, since this is just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just going to find a good, or not a good, just the next modest spread, starting with where that Kyogre is from. And uh, there's one right there. And if you'll notice, it's only a couple frames away from where I am. So when you start getting close, I'm going to show you how to deal with that right now. You want to uh, open your ROM again, and uh, I don't think I mentioned this before, but when you catch the Pokemon to check its IVs, you want to catch the Pokemon, check its IVs, and you do not want to save again. So you will start with the Pokemon still in front of you, obviously, not um, having the Pokemon caught. Um, before you load your game, on the file menu you want to go down to pause, and you want to pause the game. Then you want to uh, load that save state that was right before you checked your um, IVs. And while it's still paused, you want to make sure it's still paused, you can use this option. Um, I'm trying to look for it. Um, I think it's under Tools. Um, next Frame. There it is. Uh, Control N. You want to press that as many times as you got the uh, difference between the frame you checked the IVs of and the frame you're going after. So uh, in, the ca in this case, I want 35 frames, so I'm pressing Control n 35 times, and you can uh, see the water and the um, mist moving. That's because I'm going forward frame by frame. And then after you've done that, you want to make sure you save your game again. You want to do it in a different slot in case you uh, overshoot your target, so you can uh, restore the original and try again. And then you want to make sure you unpause it, then... Um, restore your save and um, you want to immediately um, encounter the Pokemon that you're trying to catch because uh, you don't want to delay at all or that can screw up the uh, frame count and knowing what you're at. So uh, as soon as you restore you immediately go encounter the Pokemon and then uh, of course I'm going to catch it here with a Master Ball because I'm a lazy person and um, it's going to shake three times and then I'm going to have a Kyogre again but uh, then after you catch it you want to check its IVs again and uh, this one is an adamant nature with some stats and after you do that of course you don't want to save your game but you want to enter its IVs into RNG Reporter again set the nature generate spreads, and uh, for this one it turns out that I am 10 frames early, probably because I delayed a little bit the first time I restored it before I caught the Pokemon, so I thought my seed was further along than it actually was. So what I want to, want to do in this case is repeat the previous step and advance it 10 more frames, but uh, if you're within one, and two, one or two frames, I would just let the normal um, variations take care of it, and uh, eventually you will get your Pokemon. If you have to repeat it again, I would uh, advance the number of frames and then save it in a third save slot. So in case you go over again, you can uh, restore it in an earlier time. But other than that, it should work.